most elephants in Sri Lanka live in the dry lowlands. According to the last elephant census conducted in 2011, the country has around 6,000 elephants. The Sri Lankan elephant, scientifically known as Elephus maximus maximus, is considered the largest subspecies among Asian elephants. Although there's only one recognized elephant subspecies in Sri Lanka, rumors of dwarf elephants have persisted in some parts of the country. In 1951, paleontologist P.E.P. Deraniagala stated in his book The Elephant of Ceylon that there are rumors of pygmy elephants in Sri Lanka. In the southern province, they are known as Ruhunu Gatea. In the northern central province and eastern provinces, they are known as Kurupava. Deraniagala further stated that these elephants were only six feet tall at the shoulder with proportionately smaller ears. On average, Asian elephants have a shoulder height of around seven to nine feet. However, taller elephants have been recorded occasionally. Fully grown elephants below seven feet can be loosely called dwarf elephants or Kuru Alia in Sinhalese. In fact, in 1955, Deraniagala presented this picture of a dwarf elephant. This tusker, captured at Manar in 1933, was 21 years old. Reportedly, he had a shoulder height of around six feet. Based on contemporary research, a 21-year-old elephant should have a height above 220 centimeters, which is just over seven feet. More accurately, a 21-year-old elephant should be around eight feet tall, but this tusker was around six feet tall. In the wild, dwarf elephants are rare, but in the past, people claimed that dwarf elephants, or Kuru Ali, even lived in the central and Sabaragamua provinces of Sri Lanka. Today, there are only two elephant populations in the southwestern wet zone. Around two elephants are left in the Sinharaja region, and 15 to 20 elephants inhabit the Sri Pada area. Researchers like Dumutu Priyanyana claim that the elephants of Sri Lanka are not dwarf elephants. Sri Pada Rakshite in Kuruali Neve, Kuruvaling Yai ma matya khedila tienne Sri Pada ke anne kandukura vanantare akni sa kandukura vanantare di. Itor Ali ya ke anne devanta shaririya ke bisate itor e sattya ate anne me marge ak nisi marge ak nometi nisa shaririya kuda Ali ate ke anne viswasi mat Kuruvaling inwa ke anne viswasi tamai me matya akti me namo Kuruvali ke anne ma jana vikurtiya. Dana ta Sri Lanka ing varta vela tienne. Kuruvali ek vidhar udhavalu jaate ke vano dhyane vesena Kuruvaliya e haruno kote mama nivaradi nam loke inut Kuruvali ek varta vela na hai. The dwarf elephant discovered at the Uduwalawe National Park in 2013 was a genuine dwarf elephant. It was only just over five feet tall with short, stubby legs. They also claimed that since his limbs were disproportionately short compared to his upper body, his condition was called disproportionate dwarfism. Here's an example of proportionate dwarfism. This dwarf elephant was reportedly kept at the Temple of the Tooth in Kandy. However, no measurements are available. During colonial times, James Tennant stated that a dwarf elephant was caught in 1880, which supposedly had a height of four feet and 10 inches. And in the People's Magazine, published in 1880, it said that a Dutch correspondent mentioned a cast of elephants that were not higher than a heifer, covered with hair and untamable. A heifer is a young female cow with an average height of around four and a half feet. Recent records of sightings of dwarf elephants persisted from the 1950s to the 2000s. For instance, in the 1950s, a female dwarf elephant in the southern province of Sri Lanka. It said that she made a peculiar sound and was also deaf. However, this elephant disappeared in 1958. Occasional records of other dwarf elephants emerged in the 1980s and 1990s. During the Pleistocene, several elephant species isolated on islands in the Mediterranean underwent rapid dwarfing. For instance, in Sicily and Malta, there lived a dwarf elephant species known as Paleoloxodon falconeri. Known as one of the smallest dwarf elephants, fully grown adults were only three feet tall. Experts believed that their size decreased due to island dwarfism. 
This means that larger animals, like elephants, decreased in size due to limited resources in an island environment. Even in Borneo, elephants are known to be smaller than mainland elephants. While these elephants are 30% smaller than other living elephants, they can still grow up to 8 feet and weigh around 3,000 kilograms. Also known as Borneo pygmy elephants, the word pygmy is somewhat misleading because it denotes their size in proportion to other large Asian elephants. Nonetheless, on the island of Sri Lanka, elephants were not affected by island dwarfism or insular dwarfism. Instead of decreasing in size, Sri Lankan elephants grew larger. Today, they are known as the largest Asian elephant subspecies. In an island occupied by proportionately large elephants, it's questionable why rumors about dwarf or pygmy elephants persisted for so long. So, did a mysterious race of dwarf elephants live in Sri Lanka? Unless solid evidence is found, we may never know. <laughs>